Um, I was going to ask. Wait, what have you what have you learned in the review um, of the game, and how's the response been? I guess mentally from the players. Yeah, too early to, to gauge a response. Yeah, a response has to be on Sunday, clearly. Yeah, um, that's the only one that really matters. Um, you know, as it, as it stands, we've we've gone through a normal review process, taken lessons out of the performance, um, you know, try and reinforce the way that, uh, that we want to go about it. Sometimes um, you show vision to reinforce it, and other times you need to show vision to show, um, um, you know, to give the players a, a visual representation of, you know, where we're off it. So... Uh, that was probably more of the case uh, for us after the game against the Eagles. But, yeah, looking forward to the opportunity to get back out on Sunday uh, against Freo. What were some of those lessons that you took out of it? Yeah, Anna, we just, we just weren't... Um, um, you know, we, were, we were actually OK inside. You know, we won contested ball, we won ground ball. Um, clearances was, were, were relatively even. Um, we did leave opportunities um, from first possession to clearance out there, and um, yeah, in our worst performances, that's that's become a, a little bit of a, um, a consistent theme. So we just need to make sure we get that right. But the biggest issue for us was our um, was our work rate in defence. Yeah, we're, we're one of the one of the best clubs um, at that um, consistently, and there's some measures around that, and, and we were well short of um, our, our expectations in that regard, and and um, we were hurt. Um, pretty much every time by a, by an opposition who were um, who were white hot on the day, um, and hurt us every time that we didn't we didn't do our, our early work. It seems like there's been a sorry, it seems like there's been a bit of a theme um, over the last couple of weeks. The team starting really well, but but then sort of dropping away later in games. Is that something that you've picked up on, and how do you rectify that going forward? Yeah, we've. Um, We've been able to start the games really well. Um, you know, we've outscored, you know, we had 16 goals kicked on us after quarter time. That's going to skew the stats a little bit. And I've seen, you know, some of those numbers that have come out. And I can understand how that, um, you know, that looks like it's a pattern. We've outscored our opposition, um, you know, four of the seven games before the weekend um, after quarter time and, and had more scoring shots than the Giants but couldn't get over the line in that game, didn't kick straight. So... Um, yeah, we are scoring more heavily in the first quarter, and and you know your score four is is one indicator of of performance, um, and it's an area that we think that we can continue to improve across the four quarters. But um, as I said, the defensive intent was our major issue from last week. Is um is still side bottom and automatic inclusion this week, and and how important will that be if he comes back into the side? He is, yes. Um, you know we've yeah you know, we we've had you know slowly had guys sort of that we've seen in our, you know, if either in our sort of top echelon of talent or or in leadership positions sort of depart the side for different circumstances over the last sort of month, six weeks. So getting steel back will be important for us, both in a, um, you know, both in, a, in an experience uh, capacity and in a leadership capacity. So, you know, he's um, served his penance. Uh, he's worked pretty hard on the track. Um, you know, we, we um, will welcome him back on the field. He's not going to be the panacea he's not the cure of all evils but um yeah he will he will play he will play his role and be um be a contributor as he's always been on field for us will Steele captain the side yeah we'll have a discussion about that this afternoon what i will say about captaincy is um it will be shared um and the responsibility of leadership is is often shared you know yeah tay's um Tay was responsible for going and tossing the coin as as captain, which is uh, on field is the only extra responsibility that a captain has. There is a figurehead, a figurehead, or a spiritual connotation that has been linked with the, the you know, with with captaincy. Um, but we have a fairly flat structure in our leadership, and and still still thick in the soup with that. Um, and we'll work out who'll um, who'll do who'll say heads or tails for us at the beginning of the game before between now and Sunday. Nathan, how much does Justin's knowledge of your... Sorry, it's Lockie Reid from Town Team. Uh, just his knowledge of your game plan and your players, how much does that uh, either come into your considerations or come into play this weekend? Um, 
I don't know. It's probably the the short answer. Um, you know, we could. You know, he he, he clearly has it. Um, you know, the, the couple of years he spent with us, um, you know, gives him an intimate knowledge of us and how we go about it, and and the people that are um, that are involved in it, and, and I suppose vice versa. We get. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty clear on um, Longy's philosophies and and you know what he likes, what he doesn't like, and and how he would prepare his side, and and ultimately. You know that knowledge is one thing. I don't think there's a, there there aren't a lot of secrets in how teams play. Um, it's pretty obvious, um, you know, how teams want to go about their best footy and and potentially where the opportunities are. Um, so I'm I don't really know whether how much it counts for um, either one way or the other. Um, it's great to see. It was great to see him get the opportunity as a senior coach, and he'll do very well with it. And I think Freo have played some you know, really consistent football um, using the depth of their list over the, the first couple of months. So we know that you know, we're going to get a side that's pretty well organised and, and that's a challenge for us. Um, um, you enter a bit of a, I guess, a fixed crunch in terms of games being relatively close together. How, how do you intend to manage that? And obviously you've got some injuries in terms of rotations and... Uh, I guess from senior players and that sort of thing. Yeah, look, our intent, our philosophy will be to um, to use the depth of our list and, and take a squad mentality into this next month. We we feel like we take that into into any given year, you know, any given situation that we find ourselves in with with games in quick turnarounds. That you know the whole competition is in the midst of at the moment. There there may be slightly different philosophies on how clubs plan to handle that. Um, I have said quite often the best laid plans. You can't think too far ahead, especially in 2020. So you know we we pretty much we know what the look of our side, uh, what the balance of our side looks like into Sunday. At this point, we've got to get through you know the finalise the training session today, get through our, our last little run around tomorrow, um, and we've got designs on what that looks like going forward. But um, you know, no plan survives contact. Um, so we, we we will have to make adjustments to that, but uh, we've got we've had some we've had some boys that have played through the practice match um, schedule and and put their hands up. They've played some really good football. Some some guys that haven't broken through to play senior footy yet. Um, yeah, Lyndon Dunn, and Mark Keane down back. Nathan Murphy's you know putting in a good block of form. Uh, Trey Rusco um, up forward. You know, Reedy sort of has come up and and is up and about. Um, Tim Broomhead's been playing some good footy for an Appleby you know, through the middle. You know, Braden Sire, even Max Lynch um, has played some really good footy in the ruck. So, you know, put those names in with a couple of our younger players, you know, Bianco and Rantel, who who have um, who are just coming along nicely. Wilson. So we, we've we've got some, we've got we've got a depth of players there that we know are actually playing some pretty good football. So we're not afraid of the compressed fixture and and being able to. Um, you know, run out with a, a really balanced and competitive 22 that we think can play our football for four quarters every week. Bucks, you just mentioned Braden Sire. Um, I guess, how's he going? And, and what's, you know, he's, he obviously would be a chance to play, I guess, given the, the fixture crunch, but what what is he, what has he been working to improve on to get closer to a to a call-up? Yeah, he, his footy's been pretty good. And I look, I, I, I'll say at the get-go, I acknowledge that there's a lot of, there seems to be a lot more focus on Braden than on many others that, that uh, haven't been able to break through so far this year. Um, he's, he's been working away at his game. His, his strengths are, are clear. He's, he's very good in close in the stoppage. Um, he's a first-give player. He's an instinctive player with his ball use. Um, yeah, he's improving his defensive um, intensity and his consistency of intensity across the four quarters, and he's been in a, a good block of form. Um, yeah, he has had... Um, you know, he has had Taylor Adams, Adam Trelaw, um, uh, side bottom and Penderbury in front of him for the most part. He, Rupert Wills we've favoured um, over the last three or four weeks in the role that sort of Bear would come in and play. Um, yeah, he's prepared himself really well. He's, he's not far off and, and um, he's more than ready to, to come in and, and play a role in a balanced side um, when his opportunity comes. Tom Langdon, we've seen, is uh, 
back for a scratch match this week. Um, I guess, yeah, where, where's he at? And I guess it must just be a huge lift um, for the group to see a guy who's been through a fair bit um, back out there and getting to play his trade. Yeah, that's right, Anna. He was... He was going to play last week, um, but we sort of put that back another week. He's um, he's worked really diligently in his own rehabilitation, sort of to get back to this um, to this level and and to play you know competitive footy pretty much for the first time in twelve months. It's it's nearly nearly twelve months. So uh, I, I see the um, I see the um, you know the the saviour comments, and I, I think we just need to pump the brakes on that a little bit. You know, um, Langers Langers is coming back for his first scratch match. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see how he goes. We'll see how he pulls up. You know, one one person is not going to be the difference for us either this week uh, in response to the Eagles' result or this year in terms of our um, in terms of our campaign to. To win a flag, um, but but if uh, a fit Tom Langdon is up and about and can contribute, um, he wouldn't hurt us. But he's he's still got steps to take, and it's really positive for him to be able to get out and run around and um, yeah, be a part of a competitive training session and a scrimmage that um, that it will take place on Saturday for us against the the Dockers. I know the game was was pretty much run by this point on the weekend, Bucks. But throwing Darcy Moore forward is that something you, I know he's a great key defender and in all Australian form, but is it something that you could think about going forward? I could think about it, yeah. I could. <laughs> uh, I, he look he's he's a he's 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 one of the premier key backmen in the competition. Um yeah, he he, he played as a forward um you know, earlier in his career for a couple of um, a couple of years and um and he yeah he's able to his aerial capacity yeah, it makes it enticing, you know, to go forward of the ball at times. Um, oh, the reality is, he's he's one of the the best players in his position in the comp, and um, you know, we will we will allow him to play his trade in that position of the field more often than not. Um, the move was, you know, I don't, I don't know what we got out of it. Um, it was clearly quite late. We we threw a lot of stuff around the last quarter that um, I suppose it was designed to. Just to just to throw things around a little bit, give a different stimulus. Um, yeah, we the game was gone at that point. Um, yeah, Darcy had a shot at goal. He can take a few marks, but as I said, I think um, yeah we we start our offense from the back half, and, and Darcy's a big part of that. So whilst some would say it's a defensive ploy to keep Darcy behind the ball, it's actually a very important part of our attack. He's um, he's an aggressive defender, and, and that's where we see him playing his best footy. He could go forward at times, um, and we could explore that. Um, time will tell. Uh, Travis Farco, how's his ribs pulled up? And I guess Levi Greenwood, how far off is he looking now? Yeah, Levi's going to have a run around this week as well. So yeah, you know, both yeah, you know, both Langers and Levi coming back, um, well respected players um, uh, amongst the playing group and and the club in general and. Um, yeah, a great emotional fillip for all of us to see those boys sort of on their on their path back. Um, Vax is um, Vax is up and about, trained really well today, so he's available for selection.